Hello everybody, I'm back again. Just wanted to do a quick uh, video to show these two little journals that I just finished. I've been going through my scraps and, and stuff, um, creating little embellishments, and um, I decided to do two little journals with some of the, the uh, embellishments that I made. So I wanna show re these real quick, they're small. Um, I think they're, five and a quarter by eight and a quarter and they were made out of these uh designer bags uh from uh, from uh, denise's shop a tattered dream so I, i've seen a lot of people make them and i haven't made any so i thought i'd give it a try and make some so these are two that i came up with so i guess i'll start with this one move this to the side so this one is kind of a sewing theme I went ahead and uh, just used what I had, digged up stuff, so you'll see. <laughs> um, it's a, a little chunky, but um, like I said, it doesn't have, I think it's um, 14 pages in total, I think, without counting the paper bag. There's a little paper bag, a lunch sack in there, and I just added this um, piece of ribbon just to uh, close it. So this is the, the front cover, and I just um, added one of those dress forms, and uh, that's from the Tim Holtz um, die. And this, I think it's a spool, if I'm not mistaken. So I added that in there, and then I just added a piece of doily for the little dress, flower, and then some little pearls as like a little necklace. And just this beautiful image. And the back is just plain. So let's go inside. First page. Make sure I'm in frame here. This is my first page. Um, the, the pocket is open. I don't have anything in there. But you can tuck things in there. And in here I just added a little bingo card. And just did a little bit of collaging. A little butterfly there. And then I just put a guest check. Um, I think it's from Denise's shop. And I used the um, Life, Life's Bloom uh, digital kit from uh, Tsunami Rose. But this is the the smaller one. It's for the um, for the Traveler's Notebook uh, size. Which I was going to do a Traveler's Notebook for me for my journal. But I ended up using them. For these journals here so I'll have to print it out again because I want to make one for me and then on this side I have a little white uh, lunch bag and I just did a little bit of collaging there and then I just added this piece and this came from a uh, Tim Holtz um, little ephemera kit or pack on the inside I just have this journaling card from Kaiser Craft And then on this side of the page, I just have the beautiful paper from Tsunami Rose. Now, a lot of people ask me, uh, where do I print um, my uh, digital kit? I send, I send them off to Staples um, to get them printed out. And I think it's 28 pounds, um, the paper. And it's just regular white uh, paper that I use. And it has this little glossy soft finish to it. I don't ask for it. I think it just automatically comes out like that. From whatever. I'm sure they have awesome printers in there. So yeah. That's where I print my. It's rare when I print from home. Which I want to invest on a. Like a laser print. Because I have the regular. I think it's inkjet. Ink, ink jet. And uh, yeah. It doesn't print the same. <laughs> here I just did a little bit of collaging added two pieces of fabric and then just added these little um, buttons that I actually sewed onto the fabric and then another one of these little spools that I had I'm sure I had already made this one it was just there I never used it with another journal I had made for for um, a sewing theme and then on this side I put another little dress form they're so cute. And this one I added this um, piece of uh, 
trim here again I added those pearls and here is just one of these um, which I just put it on a paper clip I mean whoever has this you could actually use the fabric I just used a little bit of a glue hot glue to hold it together and these little cut out things uh, are from Denise's shop where I got some trim and I had these leftovers so they came to good use for this journal and so I just pop it in there with a paper clip so that goes there on this side I just have a little card and these are from uh, Kaisercraft and then I have a beautiful doily and these are from Denise's shop as well and they've been coffee dyed here's another this page is another um, uh, paper bag from Denise's shop and these are white and these are large I can't remember the size of them but um, it's a pocket in there and I just have a journaling card from Kaiser Craft and then here's from another beautiful page from that uh, beautiful kit from uh, uh, Tsunami Rose and then this doily also came from Denise's shop and it's been coffee dyed on this side I just added this tag pull it out if I can uh, come on this is just a, a little tag that I used and added these trims just to, um, you know, it's a sewing theme, so you could also, like I said, whoever owns this, I, I added some just to make it um, go with the theme. But these could also be removed and used in other projects. There's another beautiful page from the kit. And then on this side, I added one of my pockets that I did a tutorial not too long ago. But on this one, I uh, went ahead and used a... A border trim trimmer from uh, I think it's from um, uh, what's her name? Oh my God! Um, Martha Stewart. There you go. This is a pocket in the back. I don't have anything in here, and I just added this little Tim Holtz, um, I guess like a safety pin, and just added pieces of lace in this little trim here. And um, this was leftover papers I had that I cut out, so I made them into tags. You can journal in the back. And this is also, um, I'm not sure if that one's from Kaisercraft. But those just tuck in there. And then I have one of these little invoices that you can use for extra journaling. Here I have another one of those spools with a paper clip as well. And I have this white trim with um, gold. I glued down the flower on top of that one though, but I paper uh, paper clipped it so I could use it as a tuck as well. So those just go in there, and this is a paper bag. Actually, I need to take it out. Huh? I have these two journaling cards, and then I have this little envelope that I had punched a while back, and I just went ahead and added some buttons. I put some um, some um, piece of washi tape, but I just added these little buttons in there because you need buttons. <laughs> so those just go in there and just different colors. So when you need a button, you have the right color. So this just goes in there. And let's put this back in there. And there you go. On this side, I left it blank. You can journal all around here. And this is another piece from uh, from the kit. On this side, I have another one of these little spools. And I just added this white trim, a little flower there. And it's just holding this image. I didn't want to glue her down because it's a small book. You need to journal. So you can just remove her and journal away. And then on this side, it's beautiful pages and they already have lines, so I left it alone. I just added paper clip this little piece here 
and those came from uh, Michael's, the their little bins, what dollar fifty bin or something like that. So that's from there. I thought it went with it, with the sewing theme. On this side, I have this beautiful lined page. Left it alone, like I said, for journaling. Here I had made this flower a while back. Uh, it's a fabric flower, so I thought it went well in here. And just glued one of those little Kaiser Craft tags in there. Or journaling card, I should say. And then on this side, I just sewed some fabric together. And then just put some of this eyelash trim and a little butterfly. And I left it like a little tuck. Uh, tuck. And then I had these old uh, needles that I found at a thrift store, so I popped them in there because you need needles for those for those um, buttons. And this I don't know where I got it from. It looks like it came from a a primer kit. I don't know. It needed a home, so I popped it in there. Here again, it's another piece of the leftover paper that I made into a tag. On this side, I put one of these paper clip uh, banners, and but. I went ahead and wrapped up again different kinds of trims little buttons glued on on there and then here I just have another um, guest check and this one I have um, one of my little paper pockets and I just did some stamping on some tags popped them in there this was from Kaiser Craft and then I have a large tag at the end or in the back and then I just did a little bit of collage in there. On this side, I have one of those little corner pockets. And it has one of these little functional little envelopes. And I just inserted this little piece. And I think this is also from Tim Holtz. That just pops there. Here's another piece that I had left over that I turned into a tag. And then a tag that I made. Here I have another beautiful image. Oh, sorry for the glare, guys. And then I have another one of those little spools with some pink um, lace, a little flower. And this picture is glued down. I added this pink trim, but this is hold, holding, held by a paper clip. On this side, I have another one in my pocket, and it's holding one of these just for journaling. And then a journaling card that I made. And then I, again, I just did a little bit of collage in there. Just added some fabrics. I don't know what these are called, but they're to help thread your needle. Threader? <laughs> I don't know what they're called. But anyways, I popped it in there. But that one's glued down, so you can't use it. <laughs> and then I added this. I pulled out one of my little dies here from, I think, a spellbinder. And I, since I bought it, I haven't used it, so I was making an embellishment, so I like how that came out. Just add a little flower, little trim on the back, little scallop circles, and, and a circle on the center. I thought that was cute. And then I have another, journal, another tag here that I made. Here's the other side of that doily. Here I had this banner already made my stuff so I just figured it went there and I just put her in there and then on this side again did a couple of fabrics on the bottom sewed them together piece of lace buttons this little ticket came from Denise's shop and then I have one of these journaling cards from Kaiser Craft And then on this side is the other side of that paper, white paper bag. Just glued down this um, journaling card from uh, Kaiser Craft. Added this little crochet flower that also I got from uh, the dollar bin over at Michael's. And on the inside I just have these two journaling cards. On this side I just left it blank and I have another pocket here that there's another one of those uh, little pieces of ephemera that I've been making with my uh, scraps and I added some seam binding
And then I have this journaling card. Oops. This from Kaiser Craft. And you also have a pocket on the back, which I don't have anything on there, but there's a pocket in the back. But this is this is um my little sewing theme one. Um how many minutes do I have? Okay, still good. Let me pull out the other one now. Get these two in here. I have this one here. And this again also used um, Denise's paper bags. There's the back. Another one of my little decorations I made. Or little embellishment I made, I should say. This one again. There's a pocket in the front. And then here I just added one of these little mason jars that I've been making. And that's that beautiful paper. Also, Life's a Balloon from the first one. And these two, Kaiser Craft, and this is from Prima. And then one of these awesome little doilies. This one, I just have another one of my book page pockets. I have this large tag in the back. And then in the front, I have this one. With this little cute one there. And another one of those little um, embellishments I've been making. Here, another one of those little embellishments I've been making. But this one I added this um, large um, scallop circle. And then here's leftover from that kit. And then a journaling card. Or I mean, I'm sorry, a tag that I made. Here I added this um, little journaling card that came from Kaiser Craft. I left it open at the top so it could be like a little tuck. So I just pop that in there. On the inside, I just have these two journaling cards. Here I just added this beautiful butterfly, and these are from um, Tsunami Bros. And then I just added this trim here beautiful doily here's another one of those beautiful pages from that from that uh, kit love that kit oh and I added a little bit of trim on that one at the end the end of the page here again another one of my little embellishments I've been making and I just inserted these two which I forgot to say this page is a, uh, another um, paper bag from Denise's shop. These are like little receipts um, that I got from Molly over at um, Junk Journal Junkies. There's again another page from that beautiful kit and we already have lines to journal. Here's another one. So pretty paper. Beautiful. Here I added this little piece I made and some of this pink trim. On the inside, I have these two. These were so fun and quick. And, um, yeah, I've been, I, I actually have uh, three more small ones that I've been, well, oh, I put together already. I just got to finish decorating. So hopefully I can make a video and show those two. Another one of my little collage there from my little scraps. Here I just added some lace. And then I have this beautiful card, journaling card. Here I have another piece that was left over. And this, I, I love this. I, this was gifted to me. I used, used one of these in another book and a lot of people like liked it I love it too and this is my last one which I was trying to keep it for me but I popped it in there but that's so pretty I don't know where or who gave it to me and where they got it from but it's really pretty here I have another journaling card and then I have another leftover piece from the kit that I turned into a tag here's another beautiful page just added this lace 
and then it has some at the end here. Here I did another little collage. Used that large ticket. I think this one I got it at Pinterest. And then a little journaling card and a tag I made. The back, this one, I think I got it from uh, Pinterest as well. I found it on my scraps. And then this one, that's another tag I made. Because you have to have butterflies. And then here I just added that little piece there. And this is a paper bag. And I just have these two journaling cards. Here another little collage. And I just added these two. I've had this tag forever too. I don't know when I I created it, but I found it. I gave it a home. So that just pops in there. Here's another one of that beautiful page. Here again. There's that side of that. Oh, it's a weekly timesheet. I thought it was an invoice. And then here I have another one of my... Move that out of the way. Another one of my little collages I've been making. And on here, I have this journaling card. And then I have this piece here. And these came from, from uh, Denise's shop also, A Tattered Dream. It was three of them, and I cut them, op um, cut them out. So I already used another one, and here's one. I can't remember where they It's like a time card, I think. Yeah, time card. And then this came from Kaiser Craft. And this is the other side of that white paper bag. So I added this journaling card. And this side I have one of these little corner tucks. Little journaling card here. Kind of like that better. And then another one of my little embellies I've been making. I think those are so cute. The other side of that doily. Another one of my little collage pieces I've been making. And here I just have these two journaling cards. On this side, somebody had gifted me this. It was a little sticker. And I just added this flower and some of this little trim there that I think this one came from uh, Denise's shop. It's like eyelash trim, but it was a nice soft pink one. Here's another one of those beautiful pages. And then on this side, I have one of my little book page banners. A little bit of collage in there. And then I just added this um, Kaiser Craft journaling card. And that's the back. I left it blank. And this paper clip. Uh, let me move this distress. I keep trying to move it over there, but I don't want to stain the book. But again, I just put a little paper clip to hold this flap closed. And it's just for anything you want to tuck in there. And that's it, guys. These are my two little books that I created. And they'll be in my Etsy store. Well, the sewing theme one's already on Etsy. I still need to add this one. I just finished this one today. And I'm getting ready to start on, an, on another three. Uh, since I have all these embellies that I created. But anyways, hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for stopping by. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.